One of the biggest problems I had when getting into black and gray tattooing was trying to understand what my shades were supposed to look like in the skin compared to how they were looking when I was tattooing them. So what I did is I went on a mini journey to try to help you guys out. I searched and I searched for anything that showed fresh versus healed, but also kind of told us what their drop system was along the way. But unfortunately, that just didn't happen. There were a lot of pieces that were pretty close to that, but they wasn't quite what I had in mind. Let me bring you up to speed so far. We found some pretty decent stuff. I mean, you can definitely go online and look up healed versus fresh tattoos, and you're gonna get a really good understanding of how tattoos look healed versus fresh to some degree. You're gonna see you're gonna learn something from that, but it was not exactly what I'm going for. It's not what I was hoping to find and show to you guys and go, look, this is how you do this. This is how you make this difference. But we're getting closer to, to the answer though, of what we have to do here. And after all that, I knew the only way through this, I was gonna have to tattoo myself to show you guys. So it was time to set up my inks and I went with what I always went with, 100% black, 75% black, a 50% black, 25% black, and then three drops of black in the final one. And if you're really looking for something, if you overfill your ink, just roll up paper towel, dab it in there, and suck some of that out. It's an easy way to go. Then you fill the rest up with distilled water, mix it up, and I was ready to rock. So I'm really trying to answer the question here. What do these shades that I use quite often look like when they're healed by themselves, saturated in the skin? Because I know if I know this information, it's going to help me. So here I have my black, and I'm working from dark to light here. Then I had the 75% we just put in. Now we're putting in the 50%. And I'm making sure I'm saturating this pretty good, doing a little cross-hatching back and forth, getting good saturation. And uh, the whole time I'm doing this, I'm thinking, wow, these are all kind of looking pretty much the same. Are they going to heal any different? Am I crazy? Is anything I know makes sense? Well, the answer is no, really. Nothing I know makes sense. <laughs> but anyhow, here we are on the lightest shade. And you can see that. That is it fresh right there. Super fresh. They all kind of look about the same shade. So that's it fresh. But this is how it looks healed. Now, in my opinion, I'm not too happy with that. That's not what I was going for. It's not really what I wanted. And it explains why I was using so much of my lightest drop so much. It could seemed like for a while I had black, some mid-tones that were felt kind of about the same. And then I had a light tone and that's pretty much what it was. And then this pretty much proved it to me that that was not what I needed. That was not gonna get my work to where I wanted it. I had evolved. Things were different. I wanted a range of light tones, which I was scared of for a while, but I wasn't anymore. So we needed to do this again. Now this time we're using lighter washes. I'm gonna go with a full black, 16 drops, eight drops, four drops, and then two drops. Fill it up with distilled water and rock and roll. So let's see what happens. So this time around, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go light to dark. And uh, I'm starting with that two drop and it is hurting. My leg is burning because I'm just trying to pack that in there real nice and kind of quickly. Rice in real life, you might go a little smoother, a little softer, but nonetheless, I'm trying to get it in there as, uh, as good as I can. And here, again, we're doing the same thing. I can kind of see that these tones are a little lighter in general. They're, they go in the skin, it takes a little bit longer than before. It felt a little bit better. Um, well, feeling wise, about the same as far as I didn't want to do it and it hurt. Why am I tattooing my leg again? It's because I love you guys. I want you to succeed. So anyhow, that's the darkest, that 16 drop. And then I'm rolling into that 100% black, which we kind of know 100% black is going to be black if it's saturated well. But nonetheless, I was really looking forward to seeing how these came out because here I, they look a little bit different. They have different shade values right off the bat. All right, so that was a fresh setup. Now we wanna take a look at it healed. Now I let these heal for months, guys, so there's no doubt that these are healed. And I was very excited and um, yeah, let's take a look at these. So this is the light shade healed. Now here I can see values. I can see differences in the shades. I have black. 
I have some darks, and then I get into these mid-tones that are really nice. I can use those. You can pack those in vice using such a dark shade that you don't really have much time to work in the skin. So let's take a look at those side by side. I think this is where you really get a gist. Now is one set a little more saturated than the other? Yeah, possibly, but I still think it's really, really big difference here. And uh, I think this was a game changer for me. This changed everything. So this is really gonna change how you view your black and gray. If it's too dark, lighten it up and give yourself some more room to breathe. And if you wanna take your work to the next level, I suggest checking this video out, which is really gonna help take what you learned here, add it with that, and you're gonna get a much better result. If you enjoyed the video, guys, give it a like, subscribe, and until next time, peace.